Hi, what is up guys? Welcome back to Sai Shriya Adventures and this is our second vlog with podcast. Don't mind my voice. I've been sick for the past 2-3 days it's due to weather change and all that. But I'm feeling so much better now and I'm fully energized to do this podcast and let's give a warm welcome to our co-host Vaishnavi. I'm so bad with intros so just let that go but yeah it's been so long that we've uh, shot our vlog I think it's been what like 3 weeks yeah I think the now. last one the last podcast that I had posted was about 3 or 4 months ago I haven't posted a podcast since then since then I've only posted shots and I am so grateful because after that podcast we reached a hundred subscribers and now we're on the path to reaching 120 we're at 118 right now damn that's good so I am very excited to like that now that the subscribers are increasing and all that I am super excited and it shows how much that people actually appreciate our content so yeah i'm happy i'm happy that you're getting more subscri- more subscribers <laughs> it's more about the support than the subscribers because it shows that people appreciate the hard work that you put into it because i remember i put in i stayed up once till three in the morning just because I was sad about not getting views, which sounds so shallow, but I wasn't sad in a bad way. I wasn't sad in a bad way. I mean, it's fine to be sad, but you were just giving up, giving up on the whole thing. Yeah, I felt pretty low back then. The entire of last semester has been pretty depressing for me. I felt very horrible about myself. I felt very upset. I got angry very easily. I don't put, say that. I put all my, most of my don't friends at a distance. And even when it came to club things, I would keep my club stuff even at a distance because I just did not want to mingle with anyone. But yeah, I don't know that this semester, know. This semester, I am trying to be more happy. I'm trying to not take all the negativity. I realize I sound so horrible right now, but believe me, it's only because I'm sick. I have, I've been sick for the past two, three days, but I am feeling so much better. It's why we are doing this podcast. And also, I wanted to show everyone that I got the merch for my college club. And we actually have a YouTube channel for the club and I'm going to plug that channel down below. So make sure you guys go and subscribe to that channel as well because the content there is amazing. Any student who is in VIT, please go and join BBC club because honestly, you guys will just love it. That sounds nice. (laughs) Yeah. I'll do that. But I'm not in VIT, so. (laughs) Yeah, dude, I seriously wish you were so. Me too. I wish we studied in the same college. I wish we were roommates. I wish so. I wouldn't have to deal with stuff. <laughs> oh god, did you speak to your neighbor? No. The person uh, I'm getting like noises from is above me. Right? So I'm like, I don't have, I don't know. <laughs> so I never went. But if it's my neighbor, I think I would have gone. But this person is literally above me. But I think I didn't get any sounds yesterday night. So I'm chilling. Yeah, you do look a lot more energized now. Because of the sleep. <laughs> now that we're having holidays, sleep. we are having some Kranti holidays. So we are having literally the past three days. So Saturday, Sunday, today and tomorrow is a holiday for us so 
literally every single person in this college is having the most amazing sleep no one wakes up before 9 a.m no one sleeps I before 2 30 a.m <laughs> you know the true value of college when you're on holiday i'm chilling what are you doing give me a second Something emergency. Dude, like, um, I become therapist. Do you know that? <laughs> well, I am your therapist, so. Yeah, so, obviously. What do you know? The girl who needs a therapist is becoming a therapist. Yeah, I know. It's How so... amazing. How amazing. I know. I know, right? Dude, I, I mean, I'm happy in my life. I don't have drama going on. I'm pretty stable. <laughs> Not me. So, no. I feel like I feel like the more happier I try to be, the more drama comes into my life. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting at this point. I'm getting bored that I don't have drama, but. Yeah, I kind of miss yeah, your drama I mean, too, because I would, I would always love those phone calls being like, oh my god, you know, this happened. I am so fed up with this girl. Oh my god, this guy is so One more gossip, if you want to hear. <laughs> I would love those. But, but those would be like the highlight of my day, because I would be laughing the entire time. Because I'd just be thinking to myself, this girl has, can be in her own reality show. Because that is how much, that is how much of crazy shit happens in your life. Dude, literally, like, I think a few days back, uh, so we had, you know, when if you have to work here, you need to apply for SSN or you need to get a letter from employer, whatever bullshit. So it was done, right? The employer, the employer, like, called me so that I can sign up stuff. She didn't tell me I need to bring documents, right? I had to walk twice the amount to, like, you know, first I went, she was like, I'm so sorry, honey. Like, we need your do- documents. Yeah, um, I hate it when people think just if you apologize, things are okay, that you like, can okay. just... I, I yeah. just gave like a wild expression. And that too, it's, just, I, it's someone that you don't even know. Someone that you don't even know apologizes and, you, and they're like, oh, it's okay if I make them work hard. I, I said sorry. True. And then she was like, uh, we can't do it anyways. Like, we, I, we can't use your pictures or whatever. So I had to walk all the way because I wanted to get done with this process because this was on hold from three months. Can you imagine? And then when I went this uh, person yeah when I, I went back I took the documents I uh, I went to this place again I walked like twice the amount I'm not, not kidding and I missed a class did you get compensated yeah. for the class like did you get like attendance for it I mean the it's like it's it's not um a compulsory class so oh it's that's not a good bad, thing but i wanted that's to go because i class. heard i remember you telling me that you have this thing where you have to have a hundred percent attendance yeah to give like your few classes don't care but few classes do so but this was the first week so they didn't take um you know attendance but uh yeah they did they, this they like they did that and I got so annoyed I got so pissed but I'm good now but my life can be a reality show for you like seriously I'm not kidding (laughs) actually I used to I remember I said this so much we have known each other for three years now four years three years we met in 2021 Mm, oh yeah I was so, like calculating 2020 so all three all these whole three years I probably have said it a thousand times that you can have your own reality show you never know maybe I'm, yeah, I'm maybe when you're, when you're older <laughs> maybe when you're older I'll be seeing your face on TV oh my god maybe I'm living in a reality show 
Do you ever think about that? Yeah, I don't think so because I'm in your life. <laughs> don't. But it has gone boring. I would say that because I'm like too busy with my stuff. Like I have two jobs. I have uh, assignments going on every time. I'm taking 20 credits, which is like so many classes. So I'm busy. Mm-hmm. I don't have any drama. I don't want drama. I don't want... Yeah, I haven't heard any drama from you in like probably like two weeks. True. True. Because there's no something drama. wrong. No, it's just that I'm too busy in my life. You know, I don't have time for anything. And I'm not overthinking stuff too. That's the other thing. Yeah, that also, is also one thing I'm trying to work on because I yeah, overthink like, a lot. I'm trying to I not know. I'm trying not to take the small things into like to heart and I'm not, I'm trying not to care too much about it. I mean, end of the day, I mean, you do overthink, but I think mine, like mine and yours, have exceeded it that limit. Yeah, I, and yeah. I feel like lot. because because over the past, at least for me, I had a lot of free time, especially last semester, I had a lot of free time. So I didn't keep myself busy. The only thing I would do was either study or talk to my parents on my phone or use my phone to watch movies and stuff. So it gave me a lot of time to really build up situations in my mind. And that just caused me to feel depressed, make me feel upset. And as a matter of fact, my parents will be hearing about my depression story for the first time on this podcast because they have no idea that I felt this way last semester. So yeah. forgive me, mom and dad, for not telling you, but this was a situation that I had to handle on my own. You didn't tell me that yet, I think. I think Did I you? told you after, after like two, three oh, months yeah. of you told dealing me with it. Months later, which which I was like, why? I'm your best friend. You can tell yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess part of me I just thought that. that part of me just thought that I'd be. Causing a burden. <laughs> that's my roommate, by the way. That's that's my apartment mate. Yeah, she's adorable. She's adorable. She's adorable. Aww, and so cute. part of me that's just cute. felt that uh, I would be causing burden to you. So I don't think that uh, you're never burden, dude. Please don't say that those words. Like at that time, I used to think that. But after I went back to Singapore during a winter break, I had a lot of time to myself and I spent a lot of time with my family, especially with my mom. And everybody who's close to me knows how close I am to my mother. Like She's like my pillar of support. Mm-hmm. Like after you, my mother is definitely my best friend. Aww. Because she, she was there for me even in, uh, like, literally when I was facing the most difficult situations in life, she was there for me when my, uh, when, like, anything I suffered, any of that, like, she helped me a lot. And I'm sorry for the background noise. <laughs> <laughs> so, after I went back to Singapore, it just... She managed to motivate, like she managed to motivate me a lot. That's good that you have. Yeah, I started. I started working out again after I went to Singapore, and yeah, I started. I started feeling genuinely happy. So, like, I would smile. I would smile, and I would be happy, and I'd be jolly and stuff. But I felt genuinely happy after I started working out. <laughs> I know that once my father sees this, he's going to be like, I told you so. I told you that this is going to happen. You're going to feel better only if you work out. <laughs> my dad is like, this, my dad loves people who work out. He's like, you have to work out. That is the main thing. I, can, I think I can work get motivated to work out. Like, I want to. Like, I, I think for two weeks, I follow something. And then, I don't. 
Yeah, That's for so me, bad. I had I had the same issue. So when I go, so for me, when I went back to Singapore, the first thing I did was for like an entire week, all I did was just go swimming every single day. Me and my sister would wake up in the morning, go swimming, and for like an hour, an hour and a half, and then come back. Then after a while, my sister got fed up with having to deal with me, which I am very oh, I, sorry I to her. I don't remember this. I am <laughs> sorry to that. her. I am sorry to her, but she enjoyed herself. She enjoyed herself. Okay, that's a so she. Then. So after that, I built up courage to actually go into the gym on my own. The first day, my sister did come with me. The first day my sister came with me and the next day my mom came and after a while I just uh, started building up the confidence to go alone and frankly I am sorry to my family but I miss the gym and the pool more than I miss them right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's okay. It just happens <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, you miss <laughs> objects and places me. more. And food more. Yeah. My oh, I miss my mom's I... cooking. I miss my mom's cooking. I remember I asked my mom if she can uh, quit her job and come to VIT and work as a caterer here for G-Brook. Because <laughs> that's how much I missed her cooking. happy that I'm like independent. I'm, I'm not kidding. She legit said that. I'm happy. Because I'm, I was like lazy person back home. Like, I was very lazy. Other than studying, I used to not do anything. I used to, Maybe I used to cook dinner sometimes, but that's about it. I used to not do anything. But my mom is like, glad I sent you there. At least you <laughs> learn. You know my importance now. <laughs> because, no, like, not for I'm me. Like, for me, my mom... Honestly, she, even just now, she was messaging me stuff like, you're sick, I wish I was there. I'm supposed to be taking care of you when you're sick. And I'm like, we saw each other a week ago. I'm fine. I'm not, nothing's going to happen to me. It's just a fever. And she's like, you know, you're sick and I miss you. Aww. Your mom is very sweet. But my mom is like, I'm glad you'll be independent now. Like, you don't need to My dad is like that. My dad is actually like that. My dad, he's, every time he sends me back home, he's like, and see, my dad means well. I love my father. I know, he means I know well. I love my mom, but I mean, every, obviously I'm learning stuff. <laughs> every time he's sending me back home, he is always like, just remember that you're going back for a purpose and don't put all this missing mom, missing dad, missing sister kind of shit in our in your mind. It is unnecessary. Like she's like she's she she loves me. She won't be like oh don't say this and that. But she'll be like she's happy that I'm independent here. But my dad, yeah, I think you know for my dad, for my dad, more than my sister, he's made me more independent because my sister she has the privilege of my mom packing her room and everything but for me i have to do everything on my own and i have always been more like i'm always i'm more like my mom that is definite i am more like my mom my sister is uh, like i look like a copy of my dad but i am my mom i always want to go out i don't i want to do anything but work so I think my dad wants to show me that uh, thinking practical is more important than just always being emotional and just being spontaneous all the time. True, true, true. Like, I think that is very important. Also, if, if it's like my dad, right, he's like always like, if you're not eating, come back. If you're not doing this, come back. No, for me, me my parents, my parents, they have no idea if I'm eating or not. I'm eating now. I'm eating now. But back in like the first two semesters, I would not eat. I was and I would, you. I would, I would, yeah, you'd be like, send me a picture of what you're eating. Because I was like, this girl. I'm going to tell your you mom. Yeah, I have your mom's number. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, this girl will actually do it if I don't send it to So I would I send know. you like the I'm previous, like... I would send you like pictures from like before. 
Did I mean look? This is this is you this is a... me? Yeah. And then my mom, I would do the same thing for my mom, and I would or sometimes I just look at the menu on my phone app and be like, oh, this is what I had. That is what I had. I just tell my mom I ate sandwich and she catches me. Oh, you're lying, girl. Like you didn't eat anything from morning, <laughs> don't you? And that's why she sent me like a big two big box of food from home. Right? Yeah, like my mom does that. Like, my mom does that every time I go back. She's like, "Oh, should I give you this? Should I give you that?" And I'm like, "Actually, they're so- coming in handy. I miss the food." Indian food. I don't get Indian food here, so not any Indian yeah. food. This time I didn't get much Indian food, but my ma- my mom made these amazing homemade cupcakes and cookies. Oh, okay. I love cookies. Yeah, they finished within like the first two days of me coming back. <laughs> I love love cookies. Like, I know it's too much sugar, but I don't care. I like sweets. <laughs> I love boba. I love. I I think I have. I think uh from last semester to this semester maybe it's like just been one week, but I'm like eating like three times or two times. I'm not like skipping the meal uh, meals at all, which mm. I was doing last sem. And then I got very thin, like last sem. My brother was worried. Like, you got more thin than last time. Like oh why but uh yeah like i think now i look better <laughs> i'm eating food <laughs> otherwise i'm like i'm always tired if i don't eat food yeah i think that is the main reason why people eat food so they don't get tired but i mean like i look tired i cannot hide it you know am i i'm like i'm like constantly being scolded like eat food my grandparents sure. my mom my dad my sister i get like I like two people every day message me con- like three people message me constantly did you eat these three exact words did you eat and what did you have my sister my father and my mother that's nice but you should eat do you yeah eat i that? should i do now i do now i eat now I don't eat. Okay, it should be like that. Don't don't change that. <laughs> yeah, I do eat. I eat now. Don't do that again <laughs> to yourself. But yeah. yeah, you know it's snowing here. I call you to oh, show really? you the post. No, the video call was for that. Oh, I did the not see snow. that. I wanted to show you the first snow. <laughs> I think you video called me when I was in Singapore, and the time difference is like really big. No, I think it's like two day- days back. You were sleeping; it's fine. But I wanted Probably. to show this. Yeah, I've been yeah. sleeping a lot, especially That's during the holidays. You need that recharge. During the holidays, I've been sleeping a lot. And other than that, I'd been in classes, so <laughs> life has been too difficult. No worry, it will be fine. But you should sleep and eat good food. You need carbs to feed off this brain. No, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, mine stopped yeah. working after I got sick. Actually, oh stopped Lord. working. I can't. I can't think of anything. Ayyoh. My, I feel like my brain is turned off, but I am feeling. I took medica- I you took my medicine. Sleep and I took. Food. Are you eating food? Yeah, I'm having my food. I took my medicine. I didn't take it right now. I will because it makes me drowsy. We just have ten minutes. Yeah. It makes me drowsy, so I don't True. really have okay. it. I can't hear you. Hello. Yeah, I can, can hear you. Hear? 
Yeah, I don't know what happened. I cannot hear you now. What? Hello? Can, can you, you hear me? Oh, yeah, now I can hear. Yeah, now yeah, I can Yeah, it's because my voice is coming so soft. I swear to God, this entire video, this entire podcast is going to be with my voice all soft and all raspy. Because I was talking to my grandmother today and she's like, oh, I can tell from your voice that you're sick. And I'm like, and yeah, your voice okay. seems like that. Because I was, when you called me in the morning, I was like, who is this talking? Right. <laughs> because your voice is so raspy. Anyways, should we end this podcast? What do you want to do? Like, because hour long. I think that this is a good point to end. Yeah, I think so. We should end now. But but we should like, yeah, we should make the podcast next week again. (laughs) Yeah, we will see you guys more frequently now because now that we aren't like home, I'm not home. I'm not home. I have, I have time. So... It's easier for me to make the podcast and everything. Mm-hmm. So we will see you guys next week. And please go subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notifications and hit that, you know, that little bell icon that's just there. Just yeah. click that and make sure you like the video, guys. Like this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and go and follow the bbc channel this club is the club that i am in in vit and all vit students go if it's possible go join bbc and uh, come to the expo guys come all this is mainly for vit students come to the expo for uh, our club's uh, like event for rivera and stuff and yeah so just heard- follow this account Sorry. I've heard about Rivera. It's like a Yeah, whole... it's like super fun. We have these like amazing celebrities come and everything. So yeah, That's it's actually it's actually really fun. That's good. I never have anyone coming. Just some Kendall Jenner promoting her vodka. But <laughs> you know Kendall Jenner came to my university to promote her vodka. Promote her vodka? Yeah. Wow. Like didn't know Kendall Jenner had a vodka brand, but okay. You didn't know 818 something like that? No. But I didn't see myself. I know nothing about alcohol, bro. I don't know. And yeah, me too. I'm a good girl. You're a good girl. I'm we such are. a good girl. Okay, guys, we'll see you guys next week. Love you all and peace out.